What up, GQ? You got your hottest five out of tens here. <laughs> <laughs> We're Eli and Rudy. You know us as Food Beast. Oh my God, the steak just melts. GQ sent us across the country to find the best cocktails, food, and bars around. You're watching Where's the Bar? All right, we're in LA, Tinseltown, home of the Lakers. And we're in an interesting neighborhood. We're near Fairfax. We're not in anywhere that's like super crazy. There's a lot of hip little shops, streetwear stuff going on. When we talked to a bartender named Ryan, he told us the place that we had to go to had a fat pig painting on the side of the wall. And he was like, it's called Tureen, best cocktails, the chef throws down in the kitchen. So we're here to put that to the test. Hey man, let's see what's up. Let's see if it's the real deal. Ryan! Oh, hey. What's up, man? How, How are you going, man? What's good, what's good? good I'm good glad job. you guys made it. We're here. Dude, We're in LA. Here. Guys, welcome to Tureen. Tureen is basically a French brasserie. We're doing classic drinks, classic French food with a modern twist. We're surrounded by Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Mid-City, the Groves over there. I heard a little bit of uh, old Hollywood here. Yeah, like, yeah. that's that's what you're getting. You're, you're a purist with, the, with yeah. the spirits. The classics are where it's at, man. This is the city of elegance. Right. Elegant drinks. For me, it's all about a respect for both this neighborhood, yeah. this town, and uh, and for the spirits. There's sort of a phrase that's going around right now that's really popular, which is, oh man, that drink was so good, I couldn't even taste the alcohol. If someone said that to me about one of my drinks, piss you off? I, I'd just be like, oh, you're right in the gut. Like, oh. I'm gonna make for you guys today a drink I'm calling the Stylus. It's a 50-50 martini, that's what the Stylus is. It's got that name because it's made with Bombay Sapphire, and Saphir in French is what they call the needle on a turntable. Keep the bar nerdy stuff up really high because I think it's awesome. That's sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't come into your place and work like that, but that's okay. I don't come to your work and knock the broom out of your yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have to come to my mom's basement and tell me how run my blog. So how's World of Warcraft going? <laughs> <laughs> the martini that I was talking about was pre-prohibition. Prohibition hits and all of a sudden you're drinking whatever somebody's cooked up. And I think that truly was the beginning of the end for the drink. Prior to prohibition, people were trying to accent the spirits. They were tasting those spirits. They were trying to figure out how to make it taste even better. But the second you started this idea of the spirit being bad, right. that's when everything fell apart. But it's taken a while for us to realize, like, we don't need to drink this way. Right. We can we can taste these spirits. We can mix it we don't have to, do to this perfection. To yeah, yeah. <laughs> Martini is a cocktail. A cocktail in order to be yeah, called. Break that. it down like we. Yeah. Have, uh, I've we never, never been exactly here. Exactly nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah. A cocktail is spirit, sweetener, bitter, and water. So anytime you remove or add any ingredients, you no longer have a cocktail. For the traditional vodka martini that people get, it's just spirit and water. So that ends up being what's called a thoroughbred. You and I enjoy thoroughbreds all the time in the form of shots. That sounds so much better than taking a shot. Can I get a thoroughbred of, uh, you know, whatever? Like That's some classy shit, Ryan. Yeah. That is some classy <laughs> <laughs> so a 50-50 martini is an ounce and a half of spirit, an ounce and a half of vermouth, and then your bitters. That makes it the 50-50. That makes it the 50-50. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna start with gin. Bombay Sapphire is an insanely delicious gin. It's perfect for what we're gonna be doing. When I think of LA, I think of the martini. You know, old Hollywood. It's about creating elegance. Every drink has really gotta be a focus on that. So this is the stylus, and this is to Turin. To Turin, And yeah. to Los Angeles, and to you guys. Thank you, oh, thank you. look at me oh, spill. There it is. is. That's amazing. I can taste the alcohol. You can taste the alcohol. The and vermouths I, come in later. Yeah. You start to, the dry comes in first. Then you start to get the, the different uh, traditional vermouths and the canado, and then the sherry finishes it up. That's your, oh that's your dryness. What do you guys have by way of pairing this with something that I can eat? We've got Chris Morningstar in the kitchen. He's doing awesome classic French food. I think he's got something working for you guys that is gonna be just as classic but elegant as this drink. A yeah. toast to the chef. Oh, Preemptive. Shit. Yeah. Preemptive. Uh, uh, I'm not allowed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, this show is real. Everyone <laughs> turn their back. This show is real. <laughs> I was about to take his drink. <laughs> How are you, chef? Hey, what's going on, handsome? 
<laughs> How you doing? I want to introduce you to a couple of my friends. All right. And they wanted to see what you were cooking up back here. You know, what do people love about Tureen? Like, when people come here to eat, are there a lot of things that people are just crazy about? Is it just because they know they're going to get sort of like an interesting twist on old stuff? I think the whole thing is that it's really straightforward food done really, really well. You know, a Tornado Rossini, it's old, borderline outdated. But when you eat it all together and you get spinach and beef and foie and truffle, it's you understand why it's a classic and why it's not outdated. So I think what we're doing is we're just kind of bringing some of these old things back to life, uh, making them fresh again, and of course, incredible drinks. Hey. Now you see why we work together. Oh, you know? So I've got a petite filet, cooked it really gently, so it's perfectly cooked. And then all we're gonna do, do to this is take it and get a sear on it. That's the foie, yeah? Yeah, so foie Ooh. gras. Smells Shit. good, rock. Can we, can we get a sniff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Just don't shovel it into your beard. Yeah. Oh. Smells like duck liver fat. So I'm just gonna give a light salt. This guy's already been seasoned, so we're gonna let that be. And then I got some spinach here. Uh, the way we're gonna do this is my favorite. We're gonna cream it out, but we're not gonna use any cream. So we wanna dry the spinach really out so it can absorb as much of the sauce. Now I'm just gonna give this steak a little bit of a baste. And then the last thing is just to finish our spinach. Just a little bit of truffle butter, Ooh. Ooh. and a little bit of regular butter. Grab a touch. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yep. Oh, my Isn't that like God. the best cream spinach yeah. you ever had? That's amazing. Holy All right, so I'm going to make a little truffle salad here. A little dressing, a touch of salt, foie gras. Lay it right on top. So we got the creaminess of the spinach. We got the crunchiness. That raw truffle has some crunch too. And then because it's classic, we're just gonna fill that rim with sauce. So here we go. Boom. Tornado's Rossini. Oh my God. You guys oh wanna God. throw that down? I yes. do. That looks amazing though. Yeah. Oh my God, the steak just melts. That's the best ratio of spinach to butter I've ever seen in my life, I feel. Cheers to that. Yeah. Chef, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanks a lot, man. My pleasure. Nice delicious. Thank you. Rudy, Eli, Thank you. Ryan. Good one, guys. You guys are awesome. Get class on it. Come to Tureen and eat. Dude. Ooh. Hey. Tureen was up? the spot to go to in LA. Chef Morningstar hooked it up with that steak. It was nuts. Ryan actually taught us a few things behind the bar. That 50-50 martini was nuts. Next time you're in LA, come check out Tureen. Like Eli said, super awesome. Bring your girl, bring your mom, grab a drink, grab a bomb steak, call it a night. Can't do much better than that. Uh, wait, oh, around the world? Yeah, part. do the around the world. Uh, uh, and then we walk the same way? Opposite way.